In this video, we will create this cozy winter scene using my pre-made assets from my animation store. Right click my image, create new timeline using selected clips. Then normally, personally, I prefer to change this one to zero, more convenient for me. Then uncheck, use project settings. I go to format and I like to go with a resolution that is a bit higher than full HD, especially if you're planning to upload on YouTube and perhaps watch it on your own TV, you will have more crisp details with this kind of resolution. Okay, like this, then a frame rate I change to 30 and I and the rest stays as is, press create. And I would like to extend the duration of this uh, image, change clip duration, just right. 3000 and change it and now i'll go to edit and this is where i will start animating if you hold all button you can zoom in into the timeline and i'll start with the snowfall so grab the footage drag it right here select and then go to inspector if you don't see it just press inspector video composite and let's change it to screen then we go to color and here in color we're gonna create masks in the window area so the snow is visible only outside for this right click in this node section add alpha output let's connect blue to blue right away go to window here and press on a pen tool okay now the preview screen is very small so hold shift and press letter f make it full screen and make a selection like this you can press shift f again and let's press here to create another mask and shift f again press shift again let him go back to edit and just like that you already have a snowfall now this video is only 10 seconds long so what i will do Control c to copy and then Control v to duplicate and one more time so it's uh, exactly 30 seconds long then we can uh, disable video track of the snowfall just so our computer runs faster we grab a fireplace we do the same here we grab it and drag it here then by pressing this arrow down select transform and this way we can scale it down the footage easier move it over the fireplace again video composite let's select screen mode and now we will repeat the same steps we go to color and here again we go to the node section right click add alpha output and we connect blue to blue we go again to window and make sure to select the pen tool. Let's go to the full screen and make a selection. Press curve to create a new mask. You can go back to edit and look at that one more thing i might do i will add another fireplace let's scale it down to a similar size let's change the blend mode screen and here in transform i will flip it vertically like that okay and maybe i will rotate if you grab the spin here you can rotate rotate the what i will do i will create a, a a subtle reflection on this part just to give a little bit more realism and here we go back to we go to color and we will create another mask again right click add alpha output blue to blue and we select the pen tool maybe a mask something like that then where is softness let's increase the softness a bit and we can adjust the pins then we go to edit where effects press on effects in a search look for blur so let's take the box blur let's drag it over the fireplace reflection and let's adjust blurriness something like that and if we go back to video let's 
reduce opacity. And now if you play, look at that, you have a nice reflection here. That would give just an extra realism. Okay, now zoom out in the timeline. You can hold Alt button and select both copy and paste or just hold Alt button and drag them to the side and snap them together. I'll disable it for now. Then let's create a new track, right click, add a track, and then probably the easiest effect there is, is a steam. And let's scale it down. Let's drag it just above the cup and then change the composite mode to screen. Now, simple as that. I will disable it once more and I will add, add tracks with plural. How about I will add 10 more tracks and add a track. I'll make myself a little bit more space to work with. And what I will do now, I will add some alternating lights. So I will take the first one, adjust the zoom in a transform area like that. And change composite mode to whichever fits in this case. Okay, the screen looks good. And uh, color dodge. Let's go with screen. So we'll take this one, we'll put it here, then hold Alt button, duplicate by dragging up and take this and put onto the next light. And let's repeat the same step for the rest of the light. Then I'll take the second alternating light and let's scale it down. Composite mode screen and we duplicate on the rest of the string lights i will add a track i need uh, one more track All right and now if you play it how would you look at that select the all the alternating lights right click new compound clip Let's call it string lights, for example, create. And of course we have to change the composite mode to screen again. And if you play, it might be too slow. I would like to increase the speed. So on a string lights, right click, change clip speed. And I'll go with 300 where it says speed. And uh, press change and you can play. Oh, you can see. Wow, look at that. Now, just all you have to do Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And paste until we have reached 830 seconds of length. Okay, now we can enable everything. We can go to media, press select the timeline. And if you press Control F, you will make it full screen looking good i'm happy with the result and now next step we go back to edit select everything right click we could want to create a new compound clip let's call it final loop and this is the moment when you can start adding your audio track your music or sounds and also you can uh, copy and paste for as long as you want. Just for demonstration purposes, I will copy everything for, let's say, approximately one hour. And if I were to export it and go to deliver, then choose the location where you want to save it. Now, personally, I choose MP4 format. It's more compact and the file sizes are smaller. And then quality. Well, I know that it's very tempting to choose the best quality, but the best, the better the quality, the bigger the file size and the longer rendering times. Personally, I go with medium or high and that's uh, that's really sufficient for my YouTube channel. So in this case, I'll go with medium. Then we press add to render queue and you have a job ready here. So just press render and now you will see the time remaining until the job's done. So if you see one hour or more, don't be surprised. That's totally normal because basically the longer the video, the longer it takes to render. And also it depends on your computer. So the better the computer, the faster is your rendering speed. And just to show you that the majority of the rendering job is done by GPU. So a good GPU for rendering is very important. It will make your rendering time much faster.
simple as that so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to share it with your friends with your family and i'll see you in the next video